With the Premier League season set to kick off once again, we should all be adding the finishing touches to our fantasy football team, chopping and changing before the big kick-off on Friday when Arsenal take on Leicester. Picking your 11 and substitutes depending on who you play with can be a tough task. Do you go with the tried and tested or do you go out on a limb and put your faith in a new arrival? Just like everything in football nowadays, money is key and managing your fantasy money is always difficult because in an ideal world we'd have a dream front three of Harry Kane, Sergio Aguero and Romelu Lukaku but then we'd be barely able to afford any more players. So after you've picked your main men, your attention always has to turn to the bargain bin. So let's look at 8 fantasy football bargains who could get you the points you crave. First up we've got Tammy Abraham. Strikers are the hottest commodity in fantasy football, they'll get you the most points and that's exactly why they're the most expensive. But if you're looking for someone a bit cheaper, how about Swansea's unknown striker Tammy Abraham? The England at 21 scored for fun last season while on loan at Bristol City, finding the net 23 times in the championship. It'll be a step up for Abraham, but he's certainly worth a shot in your team and is available for 5.5 million on the Premier League edition of Fantasy Football. You can guarantee he'll be fresh every week as well, because he won't be going out in the town in Swansea, which is what would have happened if he joined Newcastle, apparently. Speaking of Newcastle, our second fantasy football bargain is Dwight Gale. If the amount of goals Tammy Abraham scored in the championship was enough to tempt you to include him, then what about the Newcastle number 9? Dwight Gale scored the same number of goals as Tammy Abraham last season, but did it in 9 less games. 6.5 million will get Gale in your team on the Premier League website and he might be less of a risk than Abraham as we've seen Newcastle's main man score goals in the Premier League before when he was a squad player at Crystal Palace so he could do really well if he's Rafa as his main striker all season. We're going to stick with players who lit up the championship last season. How would Anthony Knockout look in your fantasy team? The Frenchman was at the centre of everything good about Brighton last season and although he didn't get the chance to show it at Leicester a few years back I'm sure he could make the step up in divisions with relative ease. 15 goals and 8 assists was enough for Knockout to be named Championship Player of the Year last season and he can be in your side for just 6 million quid, which is a snip considering the most expensive midfielders Alexis Sanchez and Eden Hazard cost 12 million and 10.5 million respectively. Just be wary that Knockout may miss the season opener due to injury. Choosing who to have in defence is always a problem, because you need someone who's going to contribute going forwards but plays in a team that can keep clean sheets. That's exactly why we think Charlie Taylor would be perfect for your fantasy football team. Sean Dyche's side are hard to beat and tough at the back, which is exactly why they stayed up last season. They've added Charlie Taylor to their squad this season, who arrived on a free from Leeds after his contract expired. And the left back's attacking experts could make him a great acquisition for both Burnley and your fantasy team, costing only 4.5 million on the Premier League game. Next up we've got Matt Phillips. He was a bargain to have in your team last year, and the same has happened once again for West Brom winger Matty Phillips. The 26 year old had a great first season at the Hawthorns and showed just how good he can be when he's got confidence in his own ability. Tony Pulis's side relies on being hard to break down and quality crossing of a ball, which is exactly what Phillips adds, providing 8 assists last season, which is more than the previous player of the year, Riyad Mahrez, who only recorded 3. Proof that maybe you shouldn't pick a player just based on reputation. Phillips is available for only 6 million on the Premier League website. We've got two centre midfielders next, starting with the centre Bora. Like Phillips, he only costs 6 million and could be deemed a risk after being untested at Premier League level, but the 29 year old Spaniard is an experienced enough player that the transition from Sevilla to Leicester should be seamless. A great signing by the Foxes, considering he had been close to move to Sunland in the past year, Bora is a goal scoring midfielder who could be an astute pick for your fantasy side, scoring 7 La Liga goals every season for the past 3 years, which isn't a bad return from midfield. Next up it's another championship star, Aaron Moy. The Australian was instrumental in Huddersfield's promotion charge last season and the Terriers will be hoping he can have the same impact in the Premier League after making his loan move from Manchester City permanent. Moy will be pulling the strings for Huddersfield and while they may not see as much possession as they did last season, Moy's passing stats should still be pretty impressive, which can grab you extra points on Sky Sports' edition of Fantasy Football. On top of that, Moy could well be Huddersfield's penalty taker for the upcoming season which means he can pick up even more bonus points. It's not a bad idea to have a penalty taker in your team actually. Why else do you think people always pick Mark Noble? And our final fantasy football bargain is Javier Hernandez. Ok calm down I know what you're going to say here, Javier Hernandez isn't a bargain. On Sky Sports he's available for 10.7 million which is quite pricey, but on the Premier League website Chikorito isn't the costly striker you'd expect him to be. 
Available for 7 million, Hernandez is the best player you can get for a decent price, considering the most expensive striker is Harry Kane at 12.5 million. West Ham's new striker is deadly in the box, a bit of a fox some would say, and he's shown he wasn't just a flash in the pan at Man United, scoring a fair few goals in the Bundesliga for Bayer Leverkusen. The Mexican is an expensive bargain, but to be fair there's not much you can get cheap nowadays, so 7 million on Hernandez can't be sniffed at, and he could grab you the points you need to beat and embarrass your mates. So those are our 8 fantasy football bargains, let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and check out our newest channel HITC7s.